Why aren't there more massively multiplayer shooters? The answer, of course, is quite simple. They're really difficult to make. I recently talked with James McCauley, executive producer of Firefall, who shared with me some of the trials and tribulations of making a persistent world shooter. I guess it makes sense, then, that Firefall has been in a beta state since 2011. But all betas must end sometime, even Firefall's seemingly perpetual testing phase. And so end it does on July 29th, when Red 5 officially removes the beta tag and the game is fully released. Clearly, Firefall has been a long time coming. The idea started in 2006 with Red 5's dream of taking high action combat and mobility and taking it to a massive open world. And based on what I saw of Firefall's release version, the game seems poised to set itself apart from other MMO shooters. Planetside 2 is all about competitive battles. Defiance is all about player versus environment missions and cooperation. Firefall offers both types of gameplay, wrapped up in a colorful world that's built for vertical exploration via jump packs, as well as standard locomotion. As with most MMOGs, you choose a class of sorts, but in Firefall, classes are represented by battle frames. These are exoskeletons to which you equip various weapons and skills. What makes battle frames distinct from typical MMOG classes is that you can equip any battle frame you want, thus changing classes without having to create alternate characters. You can further customize battle frames by leveling them up, and thus earning perks that further enhance your frames. And when you reach higher levels, you can install modules to further modify your equipment. Firefall will offer around 12,000 weapon variations. The experience begins with taking missions and fighting the Chosen, a race of aliens that emerged after humanity created a disastrous energy storm when attempting faster than light travel. Your primary goal when entering a new region is to uplink to a network tower, thereby unlocking access to jobs in the area. Enemy spawn points are not hand-placed. Instead, the developers designate which enemies are appropriate for which areas, and the game procedurally spawns in creatures and resources. The Chosen aren't your only enemies in Firefall, however. The game will also feature large-scale player versus player battles focused on base capture, territory control, and resource collection. Red 5 originally hoped to make the game a competitive eSport, but that approach didn't work for Firefall. Anyone will be able to jump into Firefall's PvP and contribute to the battle, but competitive play is aimed at max level players, and Red 5 plans on building on it in the months and years to come. When Firefall launches on the 29th, the size of the game versus its most recent beta build will quadruple, and will offer 15 times the amount of content. I haven't played the beta personally since I was waiting for full release, and I'm glad it's just around the bend. Based on what I saw, Firefall might have been worth the wait. Gotcha! Uh, uh.